guys so I'm starting by taking down my puff <laughs> and I go ahead and start with my first section um, I do end up splitting this section up and pinning it up um, just so I can work with a smaller section and I go ahead and drench that section with water mixed with leave-in conditioner look at Mia <laughs> I detangle as followed, just if I feel any knots, I'll go ahead and detangle. Next, I do a real detangle with a brush. And I brush through this section. I did start off using this brush, um, but then I switched to my other brush because this one was not doing what I needed it to. Um, it's just that this brush was taking more hair than need be. Look at my face. <laughs> Alright, so I take a pretty good sized amount of this leave-in conditioner. This is my favorite go-to conditioner ever. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture Leave-In. And it's been good to me so far. Next, I go in with my Cream of Nature Hydrating Curling Cream. I take a quarter-sized amount of that. Um, I don't use too much of it because, as you can see, it's turning my hair wet. So, but it does moisturize pretty well. Next, I'm taking my Shea Butter and Honey Oil, and I got it on my freaking shirt. It smells really good, as you can tell, and I just apply it as needed. Um, then that is my favorite gel in the world. That is the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel, and I apply a hefty amount of this gel um, just so my hair keeps all that moisture in, and also um, throughout the week my hair will stay nice, you know? I don't turn out like a cotton swab out in these streets. You don't want to go out looking like a tangled cotton swab. No, you can't be a baddie that way. That's why this is a baddie tutorial. You feel me? But yeah, I'm just repeating those steps all around my head. This is the subsection of the first section. So, I'm just detangling it. And just a reminder, I do have type 4 hair, so my hair is a bit more tangled than all the other hair types. I burped, I'm sorry. And yeah, I'm just speeding it up for y'all because it's just a repetitive process.
And always make sure you get your ends because they are the oldest part of your hair. They need the most moisture. You know, they thirsty out here. They be out here dry. So you need to go ahead and drip some water on them ends, okay? Make sure they moisturize out here. I don't know what I was watching, I couldn't tell you. But yeah, I'm applying, like I said, as needed amount of product that I need. My first section is done, I'm moving on to the other side of my head. Have you guys ever just, when you're on your, when you're on one side of your head, then you go to the other, you're like, yes, I'm almost done. In this case, I'm not almost done. But yeah, I applied my water mixture evenly throughout my hair. I detangle with the brush. Then I apply my freaking leave-in conditioner. Then my moisturizer or styler. And oil and then gel. That's basically it. And that's how you get a slayed hair like this. Right now I'm just laying down my edges. And, and I'm really talking out of my ass. Improv. Look at them edges, though. So I'm shaking my hair out to get the length. Or try to get some length back, you know. So, once I'm done, I just put my hair back to the way it was. And that's how you get results like these.